Hi guys, this is Angie from Don't Pay Retail Thrift, and I'm going to do a part three and hopefully the last part of my uh, Christmas decoration tour. Um, so this is um, I meant to do this room, this shelving unit last night because it's in the same room as the blue, the blue decorations. Um, but this is just a um, what's it called, like at a day, whatever, coming in my front door, um, and I like to do a lot of the blue and pink in here. Um, so we'll start up here. Uh, I found, I I thrifted a bunch of these blue and white star lights, and they blink, and they have, um, like, regular bulbs, and then they have the stars, and I just like to drape them over this and then put stuff in it. I have pictures here, um, normally, but I just put my stuff up here and leave the pictures, and it's just, so it's kind of like just an eclectic mix of stuff, but I love it. I love seeing in here and looking at the the blue lights because they're just so pretty. The first thing I got here is this blue swan with the gold trim on her. I thrifted that recently. And, um, I, I wanted to do, it's like a gold Christmas tree, like a little vintage gold bottle brush tree. Uh, if I ever find one, that's probably what I'm going to put in it. So I just stuck a little gold um, tinsel there, and I just stuck this little angel that I found. I loved her. or um, She has the wild, crazy hair, and I just loved her little eyes um, and her little blue pants. So And she's sitting on like a little drum, and it's like blue with gold on it. So I just stuck that in there because I just, I, just, I just put stuff that I like to look at. Um, so it's kind of just a mix. Um, and then next to her, I have this uh, vintage tree topper. And I thrifted this one in a box at an estate sale. And it's in rough shape. You can see it's missing a lot of paint right here. But I still love it. It's got this cute little snowman on it holding a tree and a candy cane. And then it's got the little wiry tassels kind of hanging from the top. But I actually got it in the box. It's just in rough shape. But um, I just stick it on one of those little rece receipts. Um, spikes and I love it there. This little girl right here, she's a caroler uh, with her little Silent Night book and I thought she was really cool. I, you hardly find blue for Christmas um, and she had a really sweet cute little face and I was so impressed. She was made by somebody named Bart and um, I don't know why it says three dollars. I mean maybe that's what I paid for it but why it says Bart and three dollars. But um, I just loved her. She's got this cute little skirt. Um, and like I said, she was blue and she was precious. And I love the that he painted this. That is really cute. This is just a little, a small ceramic white tree. Uh, with like more like pastel little lights in it. But I can't seem to find any of my little light. My, I have had issues with lights this year. All kind of lights. Um, even my tea lights wouldn't work, and I couldn't find any more. So normally that would be lit up. Um, next to that is this cute little Mary Bell that I recently thrifted. She's pink, um, and she was so cute. She still has her little tag on her. I forget what I paid for, but it was just in the past week and a half. Um, got her at Ark, I think. Loved her. This wasn't really thrifted. It's modern tree, uh, it, but it was clearance down last year, I think, to like just two or three dollars. Um, and I love it. Uh, it's you, it might you might not can tell it's it's a light pink, but yeah, it's hard to tell probably in this video. And then on the second shelf, I have these two little uh, candle holders that I just recently thrifted, the two little boys. They were in perfect shape. They were blue. I felt like they needed, they're, they look like they're singing carols and I felt like they needed somebody with them. So I had this little girl that I thrifted. She's a, also a bell made in Taiwan. She was also blue and I just loved her little face and her little gold on her and her little feet. Um, so I just kind of stuck her in between there. And then there's a silver tree that's just a I think that's like a Target dollar spot tree that I just stuck in there because I wanted a little bit of silver. This tree right here, um, I actually made this tree. It's I think I showed it on my video. It's pink and it's another and it looks sort of like a Colorado tree, like one of the trees you see in Colorado. Um, and I did a gray base. Um, you can't really see it, but I did. It's a the gray the base is glazed in a gray. It, it's also not lit up because I'm having issues with getting it lit up, but I'm going to, 
I don't really want to put a light on it because it's sort of small, but I'm going to do it when I get some tea light, stick a tea light in there. But I, it turned out great. I love it. This deer behind it is just a big pearlized pink deer. That's modern. I think I got that at TJ Maxx, but I wanted, uh, I just liked it. I like the sort of square look to it and um, grabbed it. But I did get it on clearance. I mean, I did get it uh, yeah, on clearance. So I don't like to pay retail, but I will buy something on clearance if I really love it. And I did. This right here is probably one of my favorite things I own. Um, this is a card that my sister found in some stuff she was going through. And look at these beautiful, beautiful little angels. I mean, it, I want to eventually put it in a frame, but I don't frame it because this was actually a Christmas card that my mom sent out when, um, okay, that's my mom, my dad, my brother, my sister, and me. It says, make the happiest of Christmas like the music of a song. Make every day a happy day all the new year long. And that's my brother and my sister, and that's the smallest one is me. But this, but my sister that found this wasn't born yet. Um, and when she found it, she loves this kind of stuff. So I'm, I was shocked that she didn't keep it in for herself. But she said, "Well, I wasn't born yet, so <laughs> it doesn't have me in it. So I'm, I'm going to give it to you." But how sweet is that? My mother was like the bomb. I'm sorry, but she was the bomb. It was Olin Mills. I remember she used to always get our pictures made at Olin Mills, and I guess you got these. I don't know why it won't focus, but I guess you got these when you had your picture made. Um, but that is just adorable. So that was probably, well, I'm probably like three, maybe two or three in that. So that was late 60s. Um, so how, but that is just, I, that is like one of my absolute prized possessions. I love it. Um, this right here is another favorite of mine. My sister gave me this when she gave me a bunch of thrift, thrifted stuff a few years ago. It's a, um, you can, hopefully you can see him blinking, but it's a precious moment snowman. Normally he would be out on the front porch, but I wanted him in here because I like, I actually, he has like a little stand. I actually carry this guy around. Like if, and I just, so I can just look at him because he just makes me so happy. But I absolutely love that guy. The same sister also made me this little a little decoration, and that is that is Disney. That's Bambi's daddy, um, little Disney uh, deer. She's stuck in some cute little vintage greenery in a basket. This blue tray I thrifted. It's a ceramic, vintage ceramic someone made. Um, I think it was an estate sale. The pink ornaments are um, uh, shiny bright. The blue ones are modern, but this one was. Um, whoops, if I don't drop it. That's a vintage one. It's sort of a, just an odd greeny blue color, and I just stuck it in there because I love it, and it kind of matches the snowman. I always have the Lord's Prayer um, framed, and I got this at an estate sale, and it wasn't actually, like, framed. It came that way because it was bought somewhere, like at a gift shop, it looks like, um, but I loved it. It's just an inexpensive kind of plasticky frame, but I just thought it was really pretty. And I love to put that up, just to leave that up. So that's here all the time. And that's just a little, you can kind of see the lights. But I love that. Um, so now we'll move into and show you a little bit more blue. And then I'll show you my very tacky, kitschy um, den. Okay, so this is upstairs in a bedroom. This is a little bit more of my teal blue. This is a ceramic piece that I painted and I just love it. It's sitting right next to a lamp, so let me see if it'll focus. I turned the lamp off so you might could see. But it's Mr. and Miss Claus. I don't know why that's not gonna focus. But anyway, it's um I put it with these two little trees. I also made these trees. I bought the set, the trees they came with like an Easter set. Yes, an Easter set that they, they they go they go with and I put it out at Easter. But he also put the trees out with these guys at Christmas. That's still just a little vintage ceramic boot that I made. Turquoise with some pink and silver on it. And that's a ceramic um, candy cane that I made. Those are real. But I have more ceramic ones. I just don't know where they are. So let me turn the light on. Maybe you can see better. But I just love that little cowboy boot. Um, and I love the color. Um, so actually all this I actually made. These also... 
normally I would put a tea light in, but I can't find my tea lights. But this right here is actually, um, I just love them. They're so cute, and the, her little face is so cute. I hope you can see it. I also did some glitter on it, and the 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 snow on the frilly part of their outfit. But it's actually um, it's supposed to be a music box. You can, you can buy the music box things that you put inside. And I actually have one. I just haven't put it in there yet. Because um, I'm not sure if... Um, I'm not sure what song I wanted. So I think mine that I have is Jingle Bells. But I don't know if I wanted that in there yet. But that's a really... I just love the blue. Um, and then this corner of the bedroom, I just put my... That's just a box I got with a little tree on it. And a card we got last year from some friends. But this was a little thrifted pink tray. It's like um, almost like acrylic. And I, whoa, I cut this fabric that I had that's this pink and white fabric with glitter just to give it some color because that's just a piece of fabric stuck in there. But um, this is just a little collection of my little um, camper ornaments that um, people like. The, the blue one in the back, I made that one and you can see it's got some, cr it's cracking and coming apart. It wasn't poured heavy enough. I bought it from a ceramic shop and it wasn't poured heavy enough. So, But I stuck it there and I don't touch it so maybe it'll stay. This little guy was a gift. Um, uh, my daughter used to play tennis all the time and she was like a tennis, a uh, really good tennis, high school tennis star. So she was given that. Little Santa with a tennis racket. This was an ornament I got as a gift. Another one and another one. And I just like to put them all together. Um, instead of instead of on the tree, I like to just group them together. But I thought it turned out really pretty. And I just sat it on top of a little red chair with the pink and red. This is what I store a lot of my ornaments in. But I love that. It just brings a little color and brightness into this room. And those aren't turned on, but I have about three or four strands of these little uh, Santa lights. Um, I just hang them from the curtain rod. They're really cute when they're lit up. And then this guy, y'all you, you guys might remember, I thrifted him a long time ago. Um, he also, you're supposed to put a light in him. It's kind of like the ceramic Christmas trees in a sense. You you do that and then you, you put the light in kit in it and then he lights up. I just don't have a light kit in him and I just love him. I left, I was going to repaint him, but I actually left him like he is. I kind of like the way they did it. The gray mustache was kind of a little odd, but um, I like the little blue in the eye. Um, so eventually I'll get him lit up, but I loved him. That's just a cute piece that I liked. All right, and this is in my hallway. Um, this is that brass and glass uh, bar cart that I got from a locker that I thought I had it sold, but I ended up not, not selling it, and then it's, I really will end up selling it one day, but I just chunked through all my, most of my little reindeers on it, um, I have a couple reindeer books that I love, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer books, I'm having bad lighting in here, these two red ones I thrifted somewhere, the two ones in the back I got at different places, and this one actually is just missing his antlers, but I had a little red bow sticking on it. I just made it a girl, but um, I see the bow's missing. Probably fell off in, when, I, when I had it packed up. The red one I recently thrifted, and I just it was kind of messed up. I added new glitter to his antlers. That's another one of my ceramic trees. That one does not light up. It has those big round bulbs. Um, I love that one, though. It's really pretty. It almost looks like a gum gumdrop tree. This little sleigh was one of those that fold flat. I've sold quite a few of those that I think you put your Christmas cards in. And that's just a little vintage Santa and Miss Claus I thrifted somewhere. This little Santa I actually painted. And he's missing. He has this little white curly um, list. It's like his naughty list. I don't, I don't know why. It's not here. I don't have it with me. Those were new. I got it at the Cracker Barrel salt and pepper shakers. I bought my mom a pair when I was there last October, uh, September, and I bought myself a pair. But I love them. I couldn't not buy them. That tree in the back is just a vintage, very 80s. This is kind of my 80s stuff. Um, fabric tree with all the little things stuck on it. And these are some vintage 80s ceramic reindeer. The one right here is different from the other two. You can kind of look, it's a little bit different color and the flowers are on it are different. These are just more like dots. 
but they all are very similar and the sleigh goes with the two that match but I just stuck this guy in with them because he's very close and they like each other <laughs> um, but I love those that's just a very 80s, 90s. They called it, I think, the Softy Collection because they kind of look like like stuffed animals. Um, but I love those. I always have to grab those when I see them. This, I think I recently showed you guys. I just stuck this on the doorway in, uh, in the upstairs bedroom because I love it. I didn't really have anywhere else to put it. I just stuck it on a hanger and hung it up because I walk down this hallway every morning and I see it and it just makes me smile. But I love that. And something like this is kind of what I want to do to my red um, tree skirt that I showed you guys in part two. I want to eventually do something like this to the tree skirt if I ever get the time to do it. I just love that. And this is in my sewing room. Um, but it's an, it's an absolute disaster because I'm in the process of redoing it. That's just a big clock that I made out of one of those wooden tables that you attach the legs to that people had in the 80s that you would throw a tablecloth over. Um, I love it. I, I used to hang in my kitchen. Um, now it really doesn't look, it looks out of place in here, but I don't know what to do with it. Um, so this is like my 80s cabinet. Uh, this little guy I thrifted, it's this, um, what do you call this? I forget what you call it, but you'll know what I mean. This is just a little music box with some mice. Um, I thrifted that somewhere, and it, it's like it does spin and go around and play. Those are just two little wooden deer that I that I found somewhere, and I added the I added the little pom poms to make them look like a like Rudolph and whatever Rudolph's girlfriend's name, Clarice. Yeah, um, this was just that same kind of stuff. So I just little Christmas tree ornament. I stuck it here. What is that called? Canvas, plastic canvas, I guess. And this little train I thrifted somewhere, and I thought it was so sweet and cute. Um, and then the little Santa is just a different or a little ornament that I just stuck there. This I love. It's the little plastic canvas church. And I just stuck that little girl there. Um, but it's got the stained glass windows. It's got a little nativity scene back there in the back. And I've shown this. And it's tiny. Let's see. I just messed that up. But you can kind of see by my hand. That is a tiny little scene. It's got a bell in it. And it also has a music box. It also plays. And then it's got some little carolers over here. I just thought that was so sweet. And I want to say I paid like a dollar for this somewhere. Uh, most of the trees are glued down, but that one always falls over. I just stuck her. She's a little bit too big, but um, I didn't have anywhere else to put her, so I stuck her there. This shelf, it's going to be dark. Um, this little Santa back here and this little cool little car is actually also a music box. Um... I can't turn it on because my hand's heavy, but I thought that was so cute. I don't know if someone made that or, um, I don't know. These are just two little felted deer that I think my sister sent me. This little reindeer set is kind of like the big ones I just showed you in the hallway. Um, it's just a tiny little, you can see by my hand, it's about the size of a cup. But I actually painted these um, back in the late 80s. And that was just how, that was just kind of the 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 way you did them back then. The people loved the little polka dots. My mom actually has this same set, but she did hers in a white glaze with gold antlers, and they're so cute. <laughs> totally different than mine, but really cute. That's just a little piece I thrifted. I just thought they were so precious, and I just stuck them on that little box to make, give them a little bit of height. This is that Red Cardinals, a ceramic piece I did a long time ago. These are little elves. These two, they're all home co. These two I thrifted because these two were mine and I, it was a set of three and I, I've i misplaced one. And so when I found these, I was like, maybe one of these goes with these. But they don't. They're totally different. So one day I'll find the third one that goes with these guys and replace them. Then this is just a little collection of elves and trees. Um... Those, I think I did those little shoes and that little guy, I just stuck him in there. But see what I mean by, I just have so much stuff, I'm just overwhelmed. But, uh, I don't know, I feel like I have to put it out somewhere. It makes me happy to look at it. <laughs> okay, so, um, we'll see if I can do it a little bit more before my camera cuts off. Alright, so this is the last bedroom. I didn't really do anything in mine this year. I usually put the little blue Santa and the music box in there, but I didn't this year. 
But this is my last, or this is one of my favorite ceramic trees I thrifted. It's, it's, um, if you count the base, it's one, two, three, four parts. Um, so that kind of, I wanted, I measured it once, but I can't remember, but it's pretty tall. I'm actually standing on the bed so I can, you can see it because it's on a tall gun cabinet. This little reindeer, I made her, and I just stuck her on top of that little, it's sort of a pink ribbon. These two guys were given to me last year. They're not, they're modern, but they were vintage inspired. I just, and they're just, they're really glittery. <laughs> that glitter just falls off them. But this guy I got in an estate sale, I want to say for like 10 bucks or 12 bucks. And I absolutely love it. It's like white, um, the pearlized white. And what I love about it is when you make them, a lot of people just do one hole on each little limb, I guess, so to speak. But this one has a million, I mean, it has a lot of holes, and that's a lot of work, and it has a lot of different little beads in it. There's there's candles, there's birds, there's little gumdrops, there's, I mean, it's hard to see all the different ones, but it is really, really pretty, and, and my absolute favorite. But anyway, um, it's at 21 minutes, so I was going to show you my den where my all the rest of my ceramic trees are. But I will maybe do that, maybe do a part four, because um, I'm sure my camera's going to cut off. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, like, give me a comment if you liked anything, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.